know, I just can't take the Obama administration seriously. And why can't I take the Obama administration seriously? Because he doesn't take his presidency seriously. Obama is postponing his campaign, raising funding and fundraising and helping his Democrats uh, win the midterm elections to have a cabinet level meeting about Ebola. Okay, why do I say I don't take him seriously? Because he's the president of the United States. Ebola is not a national concern. Not. Oh, I know you, you, you're you all excited and oh my God, I'm afraid Ebola's gonna take over the United States. I'm shaking and, and, and waving my hand like a lunatic over here, you can't see. No, Ebola is not a national concern. There has been one confirmed case of Ebola in the United States. One. The news reporting that such and so has Ebola, such and so has Ebola, such and so has been quarantined for Ebola does not mean anybody has Ebola. The Circuit Court of Appeals of the United States Federal Circuit Courts has said the news does not need to tell you the truth. There is no obligation to tell you the truth. None. That is a court case. That is now the law of the land. You can turn on the six o'clock news all you want to. It is for entertainment purposes only. One confirmed case in the United States. One confirmed case in Spain. One confirmed case in Portugal. The actual confirmed deaths is 400 in the entire world. You can argue with me all you want to. Go to the World Health Organization and look up the stats. Why has Obama called a cabinet level meet a cabinet level meeting? A cabinet level meeting? Do you know what a cabinet level meeting means? A cabinet level meeting means that there is an asteroid impending to hit the world and they need a cabinet level meeting to determine what is going to be the course of action for humanity. That's a cabinet level meeting. One guy dying of Ebola in the United States is not a cabinet level meeting. So what is really going on? I know, I know a lot of you don't have no clue what the hell a cabinet level meeting is. That's the Joint Chiefs of Staff. That's the entire uh, cabinet of the presidency, along with heads of Congress. Cabinet level meeting. I ask you, do you really think that Ebola has risen to the crisis that New York could be taken out tomorrow, that LA could be taken out tomorrow. Is Ebola that crucial, that critical for the United States of America, the entire United States? In fact, the entire North America, Central America and South, that's cabinet level meeting. Do you understand what I'm saying? Cabinet level meeting. He didn't have a cabinet level meeting for Obamacare. And that effect affected the, the entire nation. He did not have a cabinet level meeting for Obamacare. Let's go down the list of what else he did not have a cabinet level meeting for. Any other disease. No other disease. In the history of the United States have they had a cabinet level meeting. Joint Chiefs of Staff? Joint friggin' Chiefs of Staff? Are you kidding me? This is a joke. So what are they really meeting for what is what's really going on are they actually having a cabinet level meeting or are they not having a cabinet level meeting if they're not having a cabinet level meeting let's assume it's all a lie and that the news is a lying again okay of course if they're gonna lie by ebola they're gonna have lie about a cabinet level meeting for ebola of course i mean you wouldn't put it past them would you let's say they're not having a cabinet so what is the, the news doing the news is telling you that Obama is leaving the campaign trail for the Democratic Party. Why? Because the Democrats already know that they're going to lose and to save face and to get rid of Obama off of the campaign trail, they asked him to go back to Washington, D.C. No golfing, just go back to Washington, D.C. They're already going to lose. Now, the Democratic strategists have said that the candidates should be embracing Obamacare because it's such a great thing, right? There are more people losing their insurance completely, like Star Wars, completely. More people are losing their insurance, period. 
entire health insurance completely. But the democratic strategists are trying to s tell the people, put spin on it, put spin on it, put spin on it. We need to embrace it. People are dying because of Obamacare, because the hospital and the doctor is not quote unquote in network. Cancer patients, gone. Diabetes, gone. Life threatening diseases, gone. Not in network. So if you're out of network, you have to pay cash out of your pocket. Obamacare doesn't cover it. Obamacare does not cover it. <gasps> I thought Obamacare covered everything. So if they are having, let's assume they're telling the complete truth and the news never lies. They're, ha they're having an actual cabinet level meeting. Are they having an actual cabinet level meeting about Ebola? Yes or no? It cannot be that they're ha having a cabinet level meeting about Ebola. It cannot be unless they're having a cabinet level meeting to bring in uh, Merck Medco and, and uh, uh, Monsanto and have those people put Ebola into food and uh, drugs so that everybody in the United States can perish. That'd be a cabinet level meeting. That'd be a cabinet level meeting about Ebola. They upped the dormancy level on Ebola from four days on the Canadian uh, government website and then 21 days on the CDC website. But that now that's been erased. Now it's 42 days. So what does that really mean? So Canada says if the person is not showing any symptoms in ready two to four days, they do not have Ebola. Period. End of story. It's all over. The CDC said, oh, no, no, we got to up that ante 21 days. Then they came back and now they have erased it yesterday to 42 days. So America is on the hook to watch people for 42 days, a month and a half, not two days like Canada said, or even four days like Canada said, 42 days. So you are supposed to be on pins and needles watching somebody for 42 days. They said the same thing about AIDS and oh, I'm sorry. They turned that into HIV because AIDS is curable. HIV is not. Oh, you, you, you didn't know that AIDS was always curable. People died of AIDS because they did not do the protocol to cure AIDS. What is, what is AIDS? AIDS is a acquired, wait, what, wait, what does that word mean? Acquired immune deficiency syndrome. Acquired. It means through your lifestyle, you acquire an immune deficiency. Okay, what does deficiencies mean? It means that you are lacking in certain vitamins, minerals, nutrients, and those are causing you damage in your body. That's what a deficiency does. That's exactly what it means. Uh, they have already said that all diseases come from deficiencies. So what's the protocol? The protocol is to bring your system up to peak levels of vitamins, nutrients, and macronutrients and keep that at a sustained high level until, until the AIDS disappears. And that was always the case. There was no need to go and search for a virus because it wasn't a virus. There, there have been countless of doctors who have been run out of the entire United States because they said AIDS wasn't anything from a virus. It's a deficiency. That's all it is. That's all it ever was. They named it correctly. Uh, they actually uh, named it several things before they even came up with AIDS. And why did they come up with the word AIDS? Because uh, the president and the cabinet level members at the time said, no, you have to name it something else. You have to name it something really scary. But they had to tack on the last word syndrome. And syndrome means 
we don't know what it is. That's exactly what syndrome means. Uh, any other any other thing is we don't know what it is. Guillaume Barre syndrome. Syndrome, it means we don't know what it is. Cancer, we don't know what it is. That's what it means. Because you are ignorant of these facts, somebody's telling you something and it doesn't you don't process it because you don't know. Ebola, 42 days? Incubation period for 42 days? What virus do you know does not show symptoms for an entire month? Cabinet level meeting. I don't take him seriously. I don't take him seriously in uh, Syria, Ukraine, uh, Iran, Iraq, Israel, with China, with Russia, with Germany, with the EU. I don't take him seriously. He's not to be taken serious. The presidency of the United States is supposed to be the most dignified, the most serious office to be held in the entire country. Why? Because you are supposedly here to be the protection arm of the federal government. That means if there is a serious outside threat to the United States, not an inside threat, outside threat, it's a federal government. You know, umbrella. The presidency is supposed to take care of that outside threat. If Ebola were, what is what is he going to do? Order the troops into Atlanta to shoot the people with Ebola? What 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 can he do? Oh, well, he has the he has the uh, he has the uh, health and human services uh, department, and we have hospitals of our own, doctors of our own. We don't need the federal government. And people are actually going to the federal. Oh, could you please take care of this Ebola? Oh, please. Oh, CDC, could you please take it? We don't need the CDC. What has the CDC ever done except create hysteria? And this news of him having a cabinet level meeting for Ebola, all it is is creating hysteria. Thank you for watching the Shikama Live Show.